Hey everybody, my name is Alex with Hake Hardware, and in this video we are going to go over how to get Space Acres installed on Windows 11. So I have a wiki here, and there's just a few things you need to do before getting started. And the first one is going to be forwarding your ports. So if I click this here, I can go to uh, page that doesn't work. I'm going to have to fix that link. But if I go to general, I can see the port forwarding listed here. And there's a quick guide on port forwarding. It's going to vary based on your router. But you definitely want to forward the ports, which are 33-3 or 34-3 or and, I mean, both these ports should be forwarded in order to get the most connections for your node and be able to uh, best connect to the network. You're also going to need to prepare your farmer drives. So you should have your drives already prepared and you can follow this guide where the link actually works. And in Windows, this will be uh, the easiest way to get those disks set up. And then you might want to check the official Space Acres guide if you want to learn a little bit more. Sometimes they go more in depth into certain things, whereas mine, uh, we're mostly just going through the installation steps. So let's jump over to Windows. And the first thing we're going to do is download Space Acres. So we'll open up our browser, we'll paste in the link. You could click it, I'm pasting it in. And this will bring you to the Space Acres GitHub page. On the right hand side here, you're gonna see releases. We're gonna select the release here. And this you're, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're looking at the latest one, which if you clicked the releases, you should have the latest one up. And then you're gonna download the MSI file. So this is going to be Space Acres 0.2.0. It might be different depending on you know if new versions have released since this guide came out. So we'll just click that to download it. And then you can just click it directly from the downloads if you want to open up the file. And I'm just going to close the browser out here. And then we're going to go through the steps to get Space Acres set up. So we'll click Next to get started. I usually just keep all the defaults here. I'll click next and then install. Make sure you click yes to proceed. And then space acres will get installed. Now you can leave check uh, the run space acres checked and click finish. It'll take a second here, but it should pop up. If it doesn't, it might be running in the bottom here. It did pop up for me, but sometimes it'll just potentially pop up minimized. So just if it is running down there, you can right click and then open it. You can't see it because I'm in the way. If I move up up myself just a little bit, yeah, you can right you can click on that little up arrow and then right click and do open. I'll just leave myself there. That's a fine location. So you should look through the requirements. You should have a wallet address already. And you should have 100 gigs of space on a good quality SSD to store the node data. And then any SSDs or as many SSDs as you want, you can farm with. So you can add multiple disks here. So we'll click continue to get started. I'm going to select a path for my node. And I like to just keep this in my OS drive on my home directory. So that's what I'll do. I'll do this PC and go to users. And then I'm going to create a new folder called node. And that's what I'm going to do for my node path. Now you can use a, like a, another drive. Like let's say you want to use, you know, a Y drive or Z drive. That's also fine too. You just need to have 100 gigabytes of storage. Okay, next is we need to put in our wallet address. So let me grab that. And we'll paste it in. And then now we need to do our farms. So I have two farms. I have put them on the X and the Y drive. So I will go down to this PC. I'll select the Y drive. And I know I'm going to do 100 gigs. And then I'll click Add Farm. And then I'll do the X drive. 
or Z drive, Z drive. And then I'll, it's the same size here. And then for advanced configuration, you can reduce plotting CPU load if you are plotting with your CPU and you don't want it to just max out your uh, CPU. You can also, let's say these ports are in use, so you're running Space Acres on two different computers, you need to make sure they're not using the same ports and you need to forward them for each computer you launch Space Acres on. And you can do faster networking. It's You need a really good router that can handle the number of connections that you're gonna get. Uh, so you can turn that on if you want to have uh, more connections made and you might be able to sync faster. And then from here, you're just gonna click Start and it's going to begin initializing. Move myself back while I'm waiting. And if you are upgrading from like Taurus, Testnet, or 3H, it should wipe everything and upgrade you without any intervention from yourself. So don't worry too much about it. Uh, you'll just run the latest version of Space Acres and it will handle the rest for you. That's a little bit different than if you're running the CLI or Docker, you have to manually wipe your disks and your node data. So from here, it's going to sync and then the piece cache will also sync. So we have to sync with the blockchain, which is what happens up here at the top. And then under Farmer, we have to do the piece cache sync. And once the piece cache, piece cache sync gets to 100%, it will start plotting your disks. All right, so from here, uh, you're good to go. You got everything working and you are now, uh, well, you're really just syncing the network, but pretty soon you'll be farming and plotting and doing all those good things. So hopefully this guide was helpful. If it was, feel free to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.